Hi, someone from this side back again with a new tutorial video. In this video, we are going to learn the localization in Flutter so that we can deal with multiple languages in same Flutter app. So let's start the video. So in many of the apps, you maybe notice that there is a option that you can change the app language. Just like if you consider in the WhatsApp, you can change the language in app language in the WhatsApp as well in the multiple languages as well. That's actually called the localization. So we can do that localization in the Flutter app as well. Uh, in this Flutter app, we are not going to deal with multiple languages, just like six or seven languages. We will deal with two languages. One is English by default the language and second is Hindi. So in this video, what we should do, we include two language text translation in our Flutter project and we want to load in, in our Flutter project. And what happened, just like WhatsApp, when we choose any language, the whole app uh, language will be converted to that specific language. In that case, will be that will be same happen. We will make a, another button here. And what happened when we uh, make and when we click on that button, app text will be changed to that particular language. Okay. One more thing that's how we make in the last videos to learn about the routing with navigation so that we can getting comfortable with that routing and its benefit. Okay. So in case you don't see the last video about routing with navigation, the link will be coming here or here. Check it out. Okay. So let's start that video of about localization. For using the localization, what you have to do? You have to go to the pub.dev. Uh, in that pub.dev, uh, there is a package name as easy localization. That will be help you to easily implement localization. So what you have to do? You have to just copy that package name. And what you have to do? <coughs> you have to come to that pubspec.yml. Under that pubspec.yml, what you have to do? Uh, as you know, we have to install that package. So under that dependencies section, I just put it here and as the project is running from the last video so I just close that project and as we install the package we have to write flutter pub gate okay uh, in the meantime what you have to do uh, in the root of the project I make another folder name as assets and under that asset folder I make a new uh, folder name as translations okay and under the translation folder as i said in this video we are going to deal with two languages for the localization one is english other is hindi so how can we define that uh, app specific text with that language translations uh, in our app so for that we have to make two files under the translation just like i write the file name as enus.json this is for the english language and another file en hn.json this is for the hindi language so here what we have to do in that en us.json we have to define our json file uh, json things here <coughs> so here i write first string because that first string is showing in that english we can change it to the hindi as well okay so here i write first screen and that will be in the english that will be by default first screen for the second screen and that will be another so here i write second screen so that will be the key that will be the value so that screen name you have to give in that way so that we can uh, call that key from that screen and that key name will be same in every of the file okay so i will tell you in the hindi file as well stay tuned for that and make sure you subscribe this channel so now here you have to write second screen and here that will be hello so here in the English, I think that will be hello by default. So now if I copy here and I go to the Hindi uh, ENHN.json where we write about that Hindi translation, I just paste it here. Now for that first screen, we have to find out what is the translation for that first screen in Hindi. So as you know, just the simple thing, English to Hindi and here I just write first screen and that is showing the Hindi translation. In the Hindi, the first screen is called Pahele screen okay so what we have to do we have to paste it here and for the second screen we have to do here go here just paste it and that is second screen that is showing here so actually uh, i think in the hindi that is called the dusra screen but okay no problem we can take that uh, google translate reference as of now okay and for that hello that is in the hindi that is called namaste so that is namaste so i copy that here and i paste it here okay so the json file for the english and hindi is ready we can close all of the files we have to come to the prospect.yml and in the prospect.yml you have to come under that uh, 
asset section and we have to uncomment one asset and we have to provide that asset translation part so we have to write asset slash translations make sure you don't do any typo otherwise that will be not loaded okay after that what we have to do in the terminal we have to write flutter pub game that actually automatically done but we can write it manually so the flutter project is completed so that will be getting loaded in our flutter project as well okay so let's time to uh, write the code and then run the app now what we have to do we have to go to that main dot dot and here what we have to do uh, i just minimize the terminal as of now here we have to make that void a future okay and here we have to make it asynchronous because we have to use await so the if package is as you know easy localization and we have to initialize the package before that run app so what we have to do easy localization dot ensure initialized okay and if you hover it here you can see it is a future so we have to use await and one more thing you have to remember whenever we write anything before the run app in that void main we have to must use widget flutter binding dot ensure initialized if you write anything before the run app and if you not include that line that will be giving you any error in the runtime as well when you start the project so make sure when you write anything before the run app you must include that line widget flutter binding dot ensure initialized okay we have to just remove that constant and we have to wrap that with a widget name as easy localization easy localization okay now there is some mandatory parameter just like child we already declared uh, supported locals and parts so we have to define the path where that uh, all of the translation is present so that path is we can copy actually from here in that passport.yml but here uh, remind one thing the that will be not end with that forward slash that will be we done that we done in that passport.yml make sure uh, here when we define path that will be not ended with uh, forward slash and after that you have to provide supported locals and for the supported local we have to provide in that way local so in that way we provide the for that english and for the hindi as well and we can make it constant because that is hard coded and we also make it constant okay now there is some work is left in that material app what you have to do uh, we have to provide localization delegate we have to write context dot localization delegates and supported locals that will be context dot supported locals and that will be and the another thing is local that will be context dot local okay now what we have to do in the first screen here in that first screen we have to import easy localization package okay and here we hard coded write a written first screen but what we have to do instead of writing in hard coded office value we have to now provide its key value just like first screen okay because that the key value in both of the file of english and hindi that is same so we have to provide that key name here okay instead of making it hard coded so i just copy that path under the string just write that key name and after that to include localization with your text to get translated we have to write dot tr okay so that will be variable so that constant will be not applicable in the same way what we have to do so let's understand what is the work of tr that tr will be translate in the specific language that is correctly choice so by default the first language you declare here will be getting choice so let's see how that will be work in that uh, when we run that but before that what we have to do in that first screen if i just copy here and we we'll go to the second screen and in the second screen if i write here if i paste it here and instead of the first screen if we write the second screen and remove that constant i think that will be getting loaded but that's is showing error because easy localization package is not imported so let's import it so i imported that easy localization package and that error is gone here okay now we have to make another screen another button here in the first and second screen so let's make it at the first screen at first so here i write here i will write that that will be uh, change to hindi and we can remove that because that uh, on pressed uh, about that is not required so that will be changed to hindi in that same way i write here change to 
English. So when we want to change our app language to Hindi, what we have to do? We have to write context dot local and that will be not local because that is depreciated. We have to write set local and we want to change it Hindi. For changing it Hindi, we have to provide that local en hn. Okay. And for changing it to the English, we have to provide here en us. en us okay now say state as of now is not required because that will be by default uh, getting updated so let's see if it is working or not so what i should do here i write here first in all of that buttons and make it constant so that that will be the warning will not come and what we should do here we have to open the terminal and in the terminal we have to write flutter run because we already run flutter pocket before so let's wait until that project is started again okay so guys our project is started and i want to take your focus to that terminal when you use easy localization package and when you start the project uh, you will see that that easy localization debugging message will be so you don't have to getting worry about it because that project is started now what we have to do we have to uh, click on that change to hindi and that is changed to the hindi to so, pali screen yeah okay. sorry for my hindi voice but uh, that the Hindi is already come. Okay, so what we have to do, we have to go to the second screen, and here you can see second screen is showing. By the way, that will be in the Hindi, that will be Dusra screen, but maybe Google Translate uh, in that second screen. So let's keep it as uh, as it is. Now in that first screen, if we go here, you can see that Pali screen is showing here. Okay, so now if we click on that change to English, that uh, Pali screen change to English to the first screen and. <coughs> If we go to the second screen, that also changed to the English from the Hindi. Okay, so that's why you can change the app language as well. So that you and I just uh, show you the example in English and Hindi. You can add as many languages as you want. About play with four or five another language. So that will be very much fun for you to change that to that uh, another language and less uh, getting ready with that another language okay so that's all for today hope you love this video if you love this video don't forget to like comment share and don't forget to subscribe this channel the next video of the series is coming very soon stay tuned for that have a nice day bye